this spring last year. No, sir. What has it been like for your first spring? It's been a great experience, you know, leaving uh, my previous school. I think it was, you know, in my best decision to come, you know, around a staff that was rebuilding a program. And as you can see, uh, the coaches, my teammates, the training staff, and everybody a part of the University of Louisville have done an excellent job in that. So, you know, I'm just blessed to be here, blessed to be around such a great group of guys, coaching-wise, teammates-wise, staff-wise. So, um, you know, I'm just very blessed. So it's a lot different. You know, it's a different culture out here, obviously, a different environment from Arizona. But, you know, I'm just happy to be here, and I'm blessed to be here. You really banged up last year. Just you feel pretty good. How, just what's it like being healthy for me? Oh, it's awesome. You know, you know, one of the one of the, one of the – one of the main things you could ask for for playing on the football field is just to get on and off the field healthy and safe. So, you know, just being able to come into this spring and finish last season healthy is it's, it's an amazing experience and it's just a blessing. So I thank God for that. And the training staff, of course, they're amazing. I say, how, how difficult was it? Because I think when you got here, it wasn't long after you got here where you kind of got dinged up, right? Yeah, um, it, it happened. It happened early in summer, like right before fall camp, you know, but I'm all good now. And, you know. Uh, like I said, thanks to the training staff. Thank you to Matt and them in there. So, but how difficult was last year? Because you came here, you know, with limited time yeah. to get it here, and it, and it took a while to kind of get going for you. Didn't um, it? I don't think it was too difficult. You know, uh, I uh, like I said with the coaches and stuff, they they kept me up on speed with the film, with the playbook and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously with treatment. So, uh, yeah, it was it was it was kind of. You know, some down moments, but I was happy to see, you know, my teammates like Kane Pass, Russ Yeast, and just everybody out there doing doing their best and just having fun out there. And, you know, all I could do is stay patient and stay prepared, you know, thanks to my coaches and my teammates. Kane made so many plays over the last yeah. couple of years. How difficult is it to replace a guy like that? Um, obviously, it's very difficult to replace somebody with uh, such great skill, such great passion, and such great leadership. So, you know, it's, it, it's very hard to replace somebody like that. You know, Kane... You know, he took all of us under his wing in the safety room, and, you know, we, we all had a mutual respect for one another, and we all just had, uh, you know, just love for one another. We all wanted to see each other do successful. There was no hatred. There was no jealousy. So, you know, we all we were all one mentally. You had your best games at the very end, of the last game, obviously. Yes, sir. Um, what did it feel like for you to actually kind of get, get back in there and to, and to have a couple good games in the season going into the offseason? Uh, it felt great, you know. Uh, you know, just spending a lot of time taking mental reps, you know, I think is the best thing. And just keeping your mind and your spirit right and, you know, just controlling what you can. So, you know, it's, you know, it took a little bit, a couple plays, a couple practices, you know, to get it, get it right. You have, you know, you have to fail every now and then to, to take some steps forward. So, you know, uh, I just understood that, and, you know, I understand the process and I enjoy it and I understand how to persevere and be resilient. So, when did you feel like you were catching on last year? Um, I felt like I was catching on as soon as I, I got back from. I don't, I don't feel like I fell off any mentally. Uh, you know, obviously it takes the body a little bit to kick back in, but mentally, you know, I feel like I was always there throughout the whole season, so. With Russ Hurd obviously not practicing, how important do you feel like this spring is for you? Because obviously you're getting a lot of reps. I there. think it's very important, you know. Uh, you know, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak on Russ's situation. You know, obviously it's sad and whatnot. I'm just taking it a day at a time, trusting my coaches, trusting my preparation, and you know, uh, just having fun out here with my guys. So, you know, I, I pray to God that, you know, Russ's knee gets back right and his treatment goes well and just that his energy stays positive, you know, and I wish him the best. And, you know, I have major love for him. I have major love for everybody here. So, you know, Russ's situation is Russ's situation, and I'm just taking advantage of you what I can. Extra though, like responsibility out there, knowing kind of your both you and Jack are probably kind of the two older guys back there? Yeah, you know, we're the older guys, but, you know, Coach Shadon Brown, he uh, he holds us at a high standard, and everybody else in the safety room at a high standard. So, so does Coach Brian Brown, too to just control the defense, make the calls, and just be on top of our communication and our execution at the, at the point of attack. What is the, what's the competition like with some of the younger, some young guys too that yeah. are battling? Yeah, you know, it's all a friendly competition. You know, everybody works hard, everybody prepares. So, you know, uh, uh, it's a friendly competition. You know, when I go out there each day, you know, I try, not, I try to just bring the younger guys up with me. You know, I don't, it's, it's, not, it's not one of those type of competitions where it's, it's hatred or jealousy towards it. So, you know, you just try to, you know, one of the biggest acts you can do is inspire and, you know, bring those along with you. But I'm, uh, my main goal is just go out there and compete with myself and correct my mistakes and, and do what I can to be the best me I can be every day. What have you seen with, the, with Lovey being a young guy? Uh, I, feel like, and... I feel like he's, he, he's a great kid. You know, he's come in, you know, you know, as a freshman, you come in, everything's a little bit fast. But with reps and uh, with repetition and experience, it just starts clicking. You know, we were all freshmen at one day. But, you know, we all made the freshman mistakes. We all were... Our, our eyes and our head was everywhere. So he, he's great. You know, he has a he has a big future ahead of him, and you know I'm proud of him seeing the way he's developing and maturing so far.